Let's just look at this analogy again. So we have a program represented by four cars here. One, two, three, four. And this is the CPU, the toll. And the clock speed actually means the number of cars that can be processed in one second. Let's say this toll can process one car per second. That means if we have four cars here, here, so the total time to process the program will be four seconds. So what if we increase the clock speed to two cars per second? That means we double the clock speed. That means this toll is more efficient and we have a more powerful toll. So again, if we have four cars and then we divide this by the clock speed, that means the total time required will be only two seconds, which is half about half of the time of the original CPU. And of course, increasing the clock speed of a CPU is only one of the ways to improve its performance. Actually, you can do another thing. We have we can increase the number of core in the processor. That means increase the number of CPUs in the processor. Let's say this is a dual core processor. That means we can increase from one tone to two tone. And therefore we need only two seconds to process the program because we have two toes, two CPUs. And if we continue to increase the number of toes, that means increase the core to a quad core processor. And the clock speed remains the same. It is still one car per second. That means each CPU, each tone, can process one car per second. Therefore, if we can split the program into four separate subprograms, then we can process all these subprograms in one second. Of course, this is a very ideal case because in the actual implementation, this one second can be 1.1 or 1.2 seconds because there are some time required to split the program into four separate subprograms and then we need we need to recombine again after the processing.